All right, so now we're going to look at some additional vector analysis techniques. Again, this isn't exhaustive. There's lots of options. I just wanted to show you some of the common and useful tasks that you can perform um, in QGIS on vector data. All right, so again, if you go up to this vector um, uh, dropdown, you've got a list of different um, you know, groups of functions. So we looked at some overlay techniques before. Um, so again, some other common um, analyses you may do. Uh, for, we looked at clip, um, difference, symmetrical difference, and union, and intersect. Um, you know, buffers are very common um, in GIS for like proximity analysis. So for example, if we wanted to find all the land area that was within, let's just do 25 kilometers of cities. Um, so uh, this segments option, that's how many like line segments will make up the buffer. So the larger you make this, the more um, refined it'll be. I'm just gonna put 20 there. Um, that's fine. So let's see what that looks like. Again, it's just gonna save out a temporary file. And there's our buffers and that was the city layer that we buffered it from. So these are your 25 kilometer buffers around each of these city points. So that's a buffer, it's pretty simple. Um, dissolves another pretty common operation. So if we get a vector again, processing, dissolve. So for example, we could take all the state boundaries and just dissolve them into the entire country boundary. You could also use an attribute column if you want to group them based on some you know, grouping variable. There's, there we go. So now we have just the state or the US boundary from the state boundaries um, using no grouping field. If we had something we could group on, I'm not sure if I do. Let's, whoop, let's have a look. We'll go into um, the de attribute table, uh, subregion. So we can do maybe group them by subregion. So if we go to vector, geoprocessing, uh, dissolve again, we could rerun this, but now we can set a field and we'll use this subregion field. And now we should get instead of these other layers now they're grouped by subregion as opposed to you know the entire country. All right, so uh, some other common operations, so like under ge geometric uh, ge geometry tools, there's options for like calculating centroids, um, uh, simplifying features, taking multi-part features and turning them to single-part features conversions like line to polygon, polygon to line, Veroni polygons, another example. Um, let's, let's run the Veroni or Thesian polygons, another name for it. Um, let's find all of, we'll, just, we'll do cities, we don't need to set a buffer. Um, yeah, actually that's all we have to set. So what this is gonna yield back Okay, so it takes the area and breaks it into polygons, which are defined. They should find by the area closest to the feature. So if we turn the cities back on, we can see that that's uh, uh, that the that each of these uh, polygons correspond to one of those cities. Um, and then if we wanted to, we could clip it back so it just fills the um, extent of the state, or sorry, the, the extent of the, the U.S. Um, we would have had to make it a bit larger, put a buff around it, which I didn't do, but that's okay. So let's do vector again, and we could do clip, and then we'll take our Veroni polygons and we'll clip it relative to the states. So now, if we turn this off, that off, it's clipped down to the state boundary. So as an example, uh, Thesian polygons. 
Um, let's do a centroid real quick. I um, want the states. So we'll do vector, geometry tools, centroids. And we'll do this on, again, the states. Um, and this would be if it was multi-part. I believe it's going to do centroids for each state by default. So let's see what it does. There we go. So that's the centroid point for each state. Again, we're just creating these temporary layers. I'm just removing them just to keep the, the space clean. Uh, let's see. That's, oh, extract vertices is kind of interesting. We'd have to do this on a feature that's not super complicated because we'll get a ton of points. I'm going to open up this other map real quick, and we'll just uh, open this triangle. So let's say that we wanted the vertices from this triangle. So to do that, you go geometry tools and extract vertices and do triangle. And that spits back the points that make up the vertices that define the triangle. Go back to this other map now. Okay, um, I think that's pretty good. I think so. That's an, again just some other examples of tools. We'll look at some of these research tools um, in a, in another video.